Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Dead March difficulty. We're still playing the Hearts of Stone DLC and we're, uh, well, right into the Open Sesame quest. We're at the Borsodi Auction House and uh, our dear friend Vimy Vivaldi, the banker, uh, told us to go and talk to the most interesting characters here. So let's talk first with the uh, art connoisseur, Jaromir, or is it Jaromir? I think it was Jaromir, yeah. Okay, talk. I was obstructing his view, so I'm sorry Jaromir. for that, sir. Uh, might we trouble you a wee spell? Mm -hmm. Greetings, Vivaldi. Who's this? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. I thought you might have a blather with us. I put the paintings on the block today. Hmm? Ah, sniffing for a quick turnaround as usual, are we? Pot calling of course the he is. Black, I'd say. Do a lively trade in canvases yourself, my friend. True. Yet first they delight my eyes, whereas you treat them as mere promissory notes. The only arts that interest you are those culinary. Ooh, what do burn. you, Witcher? Do you know anything about paintings? A bit. Realize this might be hard to believe, given my crude-looking mug. But yeah, I know a thing or two. Truly? We ought to see what. Yes, indeed, then. Are you gonna test me on that, or...? Do you know our friend Vivaldi is in possession of five canvases by Van der Nob? Yet he cannot distinguish them from landscapes at five crowns apiece. I shan't pretend it's otherwise. Yet for you, my dear connoisseur Witcher, that should present not the slightest problem. Oh, so do God. tell which of these is the handiwork of Edward van der Noob, the master from Maribor. Maribor. Hmm. So we know Maribor is, I think that's a forest, right? So... Indicate the pastoral... Get the view of Novigrad, the portrait of a merchant, the still life, or the battle scene. Maribor. As I said, I only know the, know him from uh, Maribor Forest. Hmm. Uh, He was look maybe try the battle scene. I have no idea, honestly. The battle piece, if I'm not mistaken. You err deeply. I bid you adieu. Okay. What a jackass. Yeah, fuck him. Typical Arista cunt. I've grown accustomed. Okay. How the fuck should we have been Funny. able to see that? Duke Clivet declared bankruptcy. Had that ring on his face. Oh. Right. Is it fat? This one is actually pretty funny. By V. Da Vinci. So, Leonardo da Vinci, but the first letter is switched. And then we have... Zed Burner. Orland Wood. Vivaldi. Van der Noob, so the the merchant was Van der Noob. J de Varvari and and Boussin. Never mind then. So let's talk to the old hag, as we may put it. So Countess Mignole. Greetings to the honourable Countess, Madam. Allow me to introduce my dear friend Geralt of Rivia, Witcher of the School of the Wolf. Forgive yes, me. indeed. But have we had the pleasure? No, but your guild is unmistakable. Your medallion. Take note, Geralt. Countess Mignol is an eminent collector of Vedimineica. Vedimineica? All manner of objects related to the witcherly profession. Swords, gear, medallions. Oh, crap. So if we're gonna have to buy something... Oh, where'd you develop this interest in witcher's things? Mind if I ask how the Countess became interested in us? Humble monster slayers. I've some pleasant associations, dating from my oh-so-distant oh. youth. Didn't you say such things, Countess? You look right fetching to me. That's very kind, Master Vivaldi. But apart from my Vedimaniaca, I also own a number of mirrors. Your most prized piece. What would it be? An armor element. 
an antique school of the wolf from 1234. Classic. Is it up for sale? I fear not. It's a memento. One of great sentimental value. But of perhaps course. the Countess has got other Witcher curios she's willing to part with. Or acquire. Uh, perhaps she could trade. I'd charge 5%. A modest uh, transaction fee. Of course it would. Sure, why not? Let's see what she has. I've never seen anyone so good at laying their mitts on coin that clinked within earshot. But what the hell? See if we can't make a deal. Okay, so she has Witcher diagrams apparently. How much do they cost? It's actually not much. Oh, look at that. It's the Viper armor. So the Viper school of the Witchers is the we, we found the two for swords at the very beginning of the game we found the steel sword and the silver sword diagram but we never found the armor diagram so i am going to buy all of those so thank you might as well interest you in some things let's see how much do you give me for these i can get my money back this way there we go the viper armor i might uh Try to craft that in a minute. Got your eye on anything in particular today? Does the Countess have her eye on anything particular today? No, but Horst Borsodi insisted he would put up something that would be of interest. I wonder Did if they're upgradable as well. What it was? No. Oh, you know what he's like. A walking enigma. On another topic. Master Geralt. I was wondering if you'd be willing to help a lady in need. Depends we on always the are. Of the need. Oh, it's quite the trifle. I stepped out onto the balcony a moment ago. I dropped an earring while there. I couldn't find it. It must have fallen through the floorboards. Perhaps you, with your cat eyes. Sure, we'll look for no it. No problem. I'll go right away. I shall be much obliged. See you in a minute, Vimy. Okay, so find Countess. Mignole's earring using your Witcher senses. So that's the balcony. Let's see. Mm, some spilled wine. Nothing else. Okay. Mm. Well, that might have been an excuse to get us to the balcony. There's no earring out here, is there? None. What is it, Countess? The Countess would care to explain what this is about, all jokes aside. Forgive me. I... God, this is so embarrassing. Do... Do you know Vesemir? I knew it. He was a tinge short of I you, fucking knew it. Stash. Do I know him? She was in love with Man Vesemir. Tell me everything I know. What? How is he? Um, if you don't mind my asking. Dead. How close were you? Let's don't try that first. All. But before I answer, I also wouldn't mind knowing how you knew each other. Oh, I've told no one. Not ever. But I suppose I owe you an explanation. Well, they clearly had a it romantic involvement. It was the winter involvement. of 1234. A beast prowled the streets of Oxenford. A fledder, I believe. A contract was issued, a notice posted, and a witcher appeared. Vesemir. Of the school of the wolf, he came through our estate, tracking the beast. Our eyes met. Something sparked. I wrote him a message, asked my governess to deliver it. He visited, under the cover of night, night after night. On one such occasion, my father heard something. Vesemir had to flee. So quickly, he left behind his gambeson. Ah, the first piece. The start of your collection. Yes, but also the end of our love. Father had an arrest warrant issued. Then quickly married me off. I was fortunate. My husband died young, leaving me a sizable fortune. And thus, I have lived on memories. Poor Countess. I'm afraid we don't have very good news. <sighs> afraid I have bad news. Oh? You outlive the Witcher. Please tell me. Did he at least die like a witcher? No. He died like a hero. There is that. 
I thank you for tolerating a decrepit madwoman so elegant. You're not a madwoman. Please don't say that. I am old and I am wealthy. I may say what I please. And now, be so kind and leave me to my thoughts. We will. Thanks for the talk, lady. Poor woman. Ah, uh, let's see. That's Gerard of Winby. Huh. I've heard all so tall. Who? The room was full of Who? <laughs> what did you call me, Gerard of Winbury? Hilbert. Hello, Hilbert. And he's looking at the ladies. Hilbert, it's been years. Allow me to introduce you, Geralt of Rivia. Enchanted. Pleasure's all mine. How's it? Got your eye on any sparkly bits today? Not really. I buy what strikes me fancy. I need something right sumptuous for me walls just now. Nilfgaard. I get it right? Excuse me? Your Gwent deck. It's Nilfgaard, innit? Come on, admit it. Mm, no. Prefer the normal Northern Realms. Not a bad deck, Nilfgaard. But I'll take the Northern Realms over it any day. Ah, understood. A patriot. You ought to know, Helmut. Geralt here is a positively superb player. Superb. Hmm. We got a minute before the auction starts, so nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Maybe around. Uh, well, why not, eh? Yeah. Okay, that's quite a bit of money. Suppose it's not whether you win or lose. Sure, I'm game. Brilliant. I'll lay my cards out. Naturally. Uh, Geralt, may I have a wee word? Okay. What What's the problem, Vimy? Well, mate, seeing as I brought you together, I do believe I'm owed a share of your winnings, if there are any. Ten percent. I find this fee of sorts, you okay? mm -hmm. Pretty clear now why you wanted us to meet. One cardinal bit I've learnt in my trade, friend. Coin, then a stink. So, what will it be? Um, well then, so be it, I suppose. Well, you did help with the guards at the door. All right. Ten percent of any winnings is yours. Any chance for a fifteen? No. Don't push it, Vimy. I did want to get that All down right. to five, but he doesn't care, prob probably. So, let's do this again. I'll probably uh, fast forward this, so start the game. Hopefully this goes a bit better than the previous one, so he's an old Guardian deck user. Um, wow. Okay, let's swap this out a bit. Oh, for fuck's sake. That is not a good hand at all. No spice, no nothing. Okay. Let's start off with Philippa Eilhart. There we go. I'm going to let him do that. I think I know what he's up to. Um, let's put down the siege weapons. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Keep laying those down. I think he's gonna start buffing all his uh, sword dudes. Gold or dim. Oh shit! What is this? Gold or dim darkness. What the hell? Dark foglets. Is that spoiling something in the story? Yeah, that's weird. Um, thinking about using my leader card already, so let's do that. Hopefully he doesn't have uh, the mullish card because that's gonna hurt. Another archer. Well, we have another one of these. Let me start using hero cards, because I'm going to use that Biting Frost in a minute. And that should cut down his numbers with 10 points. So there that goes. Um, let's freeze him up. I got lucky that one of those Darkness cards was in his hand. That was a clear red card he was using. Okay. So that leaves me open to use Siri. There we go, 59 to 49. And he has pass. That is superb, actually. So, pass. So we won the first round, he only has three cards left, and I have four. Or maybe I get another spy, yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's start with the spy, which gives me two more cards. Hopefully something good. Yeah, okay, another spy. Avalach. I, uh, I'm starting to see my, uh, chances rising. Because this is not a problem at all, so he can get something back. It's just one of those darkness thingies. Then I'll put my first hero card on the deck, so he has, he's forced to use his last card now. And that's nothing, so now I'm gonna just demolish him. Let's put all the... 
fancy guys over there. Let's double them all up. There we go. And I put Vesemir on the field as well and double all of that. 94. Goodbye. And we won. We should have gotten another card. Unbelievable. And gone through with him. There we go. You cheated. You must have for something. Hexed me or whatnot. Oh, I'd be careful with the gab, Hilbert. Before Geralt takes a mind to demanding satisfaction. <laughs> you give it to him, you damn midget. You bearded pinch fist. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Take it easy, Interest buddy. It'll be a right bit higher when that bugger next comes round asking for a loan. Yes, indeed. So that was all his friends, and now we have to wait for the auction to start. Esteemed ladies, honourable gentlemen, the auction will begin shortly. Take your places, please. Ah, a long last. Come with me to the fore. I won't see much elseways. Okay. I wanna. Okay, never mind. There's not that many people invited, but of course it was a very high value auction, so only people with Jimmy, listen, real money were I've invited. To ask you, how's this auction going to work? They'll bring out three lots to start with. Once they've sold, or not, they'll be an intermission. Horse Posodi will probably appear then. That's when I'll introduce you. Counting on it. Sounds good. In the meantime, have you got a budget? You prepared to beg? Huh. If you can spot me a couple hundred. <laughs> of course I will. Of course I will. Went to the trouble to sneak me in here. I'd be an ass not to take a stab. Ah! Knew the bug would get you. Because we have quite a bit of money. Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, I think around 18,000. Open the auction. Ladies and gentlemen, lot number one is a brass figurine from the collection of the infamous Count Romilly. Rumor has it the figure harbors a treasure inside. A rumor one may prove or disprove solely by destroying the beautiful bauble itself. Starting price? Quite the bargain at 50 crowns. Any advance? With Master Hilbert at 100. To Countess Mignol, now at 150. Do I hear 200? Might I have an advance? Well, why not, eh? The white-haired gentleman enters a bid of 200. Do we have 250? 200 once, twice, thrice. Splendid Countess Mignol bids 250. Do I hear 300? Uh, yeah. It's on, lady. My, my, this is lively. I've 300 going once, going twice. Do we have 350? There we go. Thrice and sold to the white-haired fellow. Lot number one, the mysterious brass figurine. Proceeding now to lot number two. A canvas by the young Novigrad artist Van Roe. Starry night over the pond. Ending at Van Gogh, probably. Truly a bargain at 20 crowns. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 crowns. It's practically naught. Nah. I don't care. Good folk, is no one tempted? Atypical in style, true, but worthy of the vestibule, surely. I don't think You're anyone cares. Ten crowns, a mere ten. Ah, at last, the buyer. Ten crowns, once, twice, and going thrice. Lot number two, starry night over the Pontar, sold to Master Yaramir. They could have at least learned our name. Lot number three, ladies and gentlemen. A true rarity, scarce as hen's teeth, spectacle. A frame of gold, mountain crystal lenses polished by the tiny dexterous hands of the gnome masters, once the property of the famed hired assassin known as the Professor. Ah, we know that one from uh, Starting price of 200 crack. previous Anyone Witcher games. Went Maestro Hilbert offers an advance of 50. Do I have three? My, haven't we livened up? 300 from Yaramir Ivanovich Zaitsev. Going once, twice. Ah, don't care. <laughs> Brilliant. With the gentleman with the white hair now at 350. Wait, what? what? I didn't. 350 what? 350 twice? And three, four! 400 now with Countess What Mignon. is Vimy doing? Any advance on that? Going what? Twice? Thrice? And sold! The professor's spectacles go to the Countess. Oh, what the hell the happened there? With the three lots behind us, we'll go to an intermission. Amenities abound, please partake. We'll resume shortly. Okay then.
sometime oh, later. Look! Horse Basudi! Come on, afford some other cocksuckers steal him. Just well, don't expect a warm welcome. Oh, another one of those friendly people. <laughs> yeah, just throw that on the ground, Geralt. Greetings, Someone course. will clean that up. Allow me to introduce a dear friend and Dad's a big Geralt fellow. Rivia, who comes uninvited? Forgot my manners. Exactly serious oversight that may be so much you gain by my presence. Forgot my manners. Forgot my manners. Forgive me. The teaching at Kaer Morin, well, etiquette wasn't high on the list. Scandalous. Hmm. That's plain to see. <laughs> Got the distinct impression the two of you started off on the wrong foot. Perhaps we should raise a toast to... What's one like you want from one like me? <laughs> um, need to find Maximilian Borsodi's house. Right. Let's dispense with the niceties. Maximilian Borsodi's house. Gotta lay my hands on it. Whatever it... What? Where did you learn of it? Gentlemen, no reason to lose our composure. Raise our voices. <laughs> I ask you, where did you learn of it? Whoa, come on now. Where? Take it easy, buddy. Does it matter? I don't think it does. Doesn't matter. Willing to tell me what it is or not. Guards, escort the Witcher out. And he's not to enter, not alone, not hand in hand with Hierarch Hamelfart. Honestly, he asked a question. It was a simple inquiry. One more word, and I shall move my accounts to the competition. Sorry, mate, but yeah, no we understand. To trouble the guards, Horst. I'll go willingly. I don't recall giving you a choice in the matter. Kick his swiving mutated ass out. Okay, maybe that wasn't the right decision I just made there. Although I have a feeling it wouldn't have made that much of a difference. So Maximilian Borsodi's house is probably not a real house. Law says we're to return them. Law don't say when, though. So we'll do it, aye. Just after we beat the singing shite out of the honorable gentleman. Mm. Oh, are we going to do that? Gathering place for the elite, truly. Come on, lads. Let's loosen our muscles a bit. And punch. Come on, come closer. God damn it. Oh, fuck off. I can't even fucking heal. If I take one more hit, I'm down. Fuck you. Come on, I hit first. Your swords, master. Just need you to sign here. F fuck you. Mm. Depositor refused to confirm receipt. Signed, Sergeant Figner. A pleasant day to you. That was bullshit again. I mean, why are you prohibited from eating anything? I can heal in any other fight, I can use my signs See, in any other fight. what they say. When it's many against one, even a witch is dumb. Not in the mood for your peasant wisdom. Who the hell are you? If all goes well, dare say I'm your partner. Don't need any partners. Oh, I don't know about that. No chance you'll lay your hands on Max Bosodi's house alone. Okay. And you think you can help me, is really that it? You think you can help me? We can help each other. Get to the point, if you can. To get this house, you need to get into the vault. And there's no way Horst will let you in there out of the kindness of his heart. A heist. Don't like that idea one bit. Go on the others. Find the herbalist lives near Oxenford. Ask for some yarrow extract. He'll know why you've come. If this is a trap of some sort. we seeing you. I hope. Still a bit pissed about losing that fist fight, but uh That's interesting. A heist. Go to the herbalist hut near Oxenford and give the password. So I guess I'll see you guys there in a minute. Jump! So 
So we've arrived at the herbalist hut, but something is wrong here. Shit. That's a bloody boar. Holy shit! There it goes. That thing has a lot of tusks. Ribs. It was being hunted. Something went horribly wrong, though. Okay. Was that part of this quest or not? Because that was weird. This is the same herbalist hut we've been to in the previous episode, isn't it? Not your lucky day. So let's put one guy on fire, switch back to Quan. I also upgraded my oils a bit, so half my oils are now the uh, superior version. He's poisoned and he's down. Give me a sword and everything is fine. Goodbye. Lost your nerve. Goodbye. So he was being lost to do. A noise by a boar and then these guys and he lost his apprentice to a bunch of cannibals but that's something completely different hello herbalist does he now recognize me that was rather efficient that all you got to say I saved your life Pfft. we'd have disposed of that rabble easily seriously we my, I'll be precise. You know what I mean. Now, are you here to trade or not? Hmm? What did he talk about? Need some yarrow extract. I have some yarrow extract. I do. In the back. Follow me, please. This is getting weirder and weirder. In the back and in the basements, apparently. Let's go down. Talk to the stranger. So he's just the gatekeeper then. Hello? How many are there? So it's only that guy. You've come. Good. Remains to be seen. Aim to tell me something, I think. So talk. How do I put this? We share a goal. We both need to get into the Borsodi's vault. Both want something that's in there. Why not pool our strengths? Sorry, but what exactly is yours? I have a plan. Spent the last year working on it. On paper. Time to set it in motion. You want I can count on. That's really, really convenient, isn't it? What is it, the house? Before we go any further, you even know what Max Brasotti's house is? I know it's in the vault. Didn't answer my question. Neither of you. Willing to help with the heist or not? Hmm. I don't even know your name. Come on. I don't even know your name. What's that matter? Matters because you're clearly hiding something. Not just from me either. Wouldn't be sitting in a cellar in this shit all otherwise. We've all some stain on our conscience. But I've not asked for your hand in marriage. Just for your help in a heist. We break in. Each take what we need. Then go our own ways. Try to trick me anyway, anyhow. You won't go anywhere, you know that? Because I'll take your head off right where it meets your neck. I'm aware of the risks. So, now that you've threatened me and all, are you in? This guy is really serious, isn't he? 
What do you want to take from the vault? You probably won't answer that either, so I'm no thief. I'm not a thief. It's opportunity makes the thief, Witcher. I speak from experience. <sighs> Talk. Twenty Redanian soldiers guard the auction house, day and night. Patrols walk in circles around it, and here, past this corner, barracks. Brute force is out. Gotta get in quietly. Exactly. Not the simplest thing, though. Main entrance, armored door. Windows, dimeridian bars. But not a fortress out there without a weakness. This one's no different. Patience happens to be my weakness, so dispense with the dramatic pauses and talk. <clears throat> Beside the house stands a tower from which we can enter the attic. We can't hope to enter the tower from the street on account of the patrols, but there's a window 60 feet off the ground. No shutters, no bars. We've got to get up there and sneak across to the auction house, then down the stairs to the cellar. Crack open or blow off the vault door, and voila! Sounds solid, or looks bleak to me. Well, we don't really have a choice, right? Not bad, except sounds like a lot of work for two. I'm fully aware of that. For this to work, we need two more accomplices. One to scale the tower, drop us a line. The other to open the vault. A safe cracker, a demolition specialist. We have that. I've already identified some promising candidates. All we have to do is select and recruit the best among them. Also your job. I'd uh, prefer to remain largely out of sight. Mm -hmm. Assumed as much given your hood. Anything else? I. Well, that's among the details, which you will learn just as soon as you declare. So be it. <sighs> Don't really have any other options. So be it. I'm in. But on one condition, no one dies. That clear? As the great son of Nilfgaard. How about we knock back around? Talk some mutually beneficial relationship. Rather get to work. What comes first? First, you have to assemble a crew. Then, there's the Redanian patrols to cull a bit. Too many wandering around. We could get noticed. So this is GTA, right? We need to plan a heist. Getting inside, who do we have? Breaking artists. Tell me about them. Assuming lack of vertigo to be the first requirement. Precisely why my favorite is Eveline Gallo. A circus artist no better as the <laughs> Just now performing with her troupe somewhere near Oxenford. Her speciality is rhythmic gymnastics. <laughs> Breaking and entering. Not officially, no, but I've compared the route her troops taken with a list of the most audacious thefts in recent years. A perfect match. I would doubt that's a coincidence. That was cool. But if she's reluctant, we've another option in Hugo Hoff, alias Beef Patty. A halfling. And how Think can he feet. climb? Pudgy face doesn't really match my wow. of a criminal. You'd be surprised. Hugo's notched up more break-ins than you felt monsters. More importantly, two years past, he nicked the gold-plated cock from the roof of the town all in Nova. So, the old man. Word has it, he's got <laughs> up in Oxenfurt in a house near the Nova Grand Gate. Be careful. He's modest in some, but apparently wicked dangerous. Okay. Opening the vault? All right, opening the vault. Who do we have? Let's start with the fact that one of them's a dwarf. That's not Casimir, necessarily a bad thing, though. Native of Mahakam. A specialist in controlled explosions. Because Zoltan is also Folks an explosive expert. To the high heavens with but a pinch of salt, Peter. Vault door for him should be a cinch. Okay. The problem is, Casimir apparently hung up his detonators some time ago. He married, sired some littler ones, and settled in the village of Olness. My plane turned us down. Any options? Quinto, the North's most famed safecracker. Arrest warrants out on him in Kedwin, Lyria, Angrin, and Kavir. Sadly, he got nabbed a few days back <laughs> by one Hans of Sidaris, a prick mercenary. I know the man. Slew yes, Archbishop indeed, we know the man. Mean fiend, pretty much. Hands or the beast? Both, actually. Hmm. So I'd have to rip one from his cozy home, the other from a cozy cage. 
need to think about it. And then uh, the patrols. What's this about calling the patrols? Told you, no one dies. Easy. I don't want anyone's death. Just need some folk to be temporarily indisposed. Spit it out. Laxatives? You Let them shit their pants. The garrison's cook. Convince him to spy the soldiers not huh. to Pretty kill much. some of them One in two, I say. Not today's suspicion is <sighs> now the formula for a potion that might do the trick. There. See? Cleansing mixture, that. yeah, laxatives. Find the cook, then convince him to do you a favor. I don't know, cast a spell, toss him some coin. You could also use your fists. Okay then, sounds like a hell of a lot of work, but time I was on my way. Alright, I'm off. Got a bit to do. As do I. Get it all done, and we'll meet back here. What then? Then, we'll bug a horse up, down, and sideways, all together. Sounds like he has a bit of a personal grudge. But I guess we'll find that out later. So, with that, we have our work set out for us. But uh, before that, we're going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Um, I also want to talk a bit about the other series I just started. Deus Ex Mankind Divided is in full swing. And I'm also planning to do a playthrough of the, uh, well, the entire Bioshock trilogy. Because I've been a really big fan of that. So you have that to look forward to. So don't forget to check out those series as well. But uh, without further ado, thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye.